Good afternoon. My name is Mitch Mitchell, and I'm the Senior Manager of Government Sales at Chrysler Group LLC. And I manage the Dodge Police Program. And I'm here with Police Magazine at the 2011 Michigan State Police Vehicle Testing uh, Performance Evaluation. And I'm proud to introduce our 2011 Dodge Charger. We've made a lot of great refinements to the vehicle inside and out to include a great uh, change to our, our body on the vehicle. We've also improved the V6 engine offering that we're offering in this current generation where it's now flex fuel capable. We've also increased the horsepower on that engine by about 30 horsepower to about 290 horsepower. And we've also made some changes on the interior side to improve the interior refinements on the vehicle to make it much more comfortable for the law enforcement officer. And this includes the uh, bezels and instrument panel. It also includes the door angle opening, which is now 90 degrees, which allows the officer ease of entry and exit when getting into and out of the vehicle, and also ease and entry of exit when putting in their uh, companions in the rear seat. This generation charger leverages the history, the proud history and heritage that the prior generation Dodge Charger and the Ch Dodge Charger from the 1970s has brought to bear. And we will continue to have a world-class performer in the law enforcement market. We've made several uh, refinements to the exterior of the 2011 Dodge Charger. And these include making the bumper more pronounced and you now get a chromed bezel bumper as well. So it really, it really enhances the appearance of the front of the vehicle. In addition to the bumper, we've also introduced scallops on the hood, which gives you a luxurious feel, a more refined, bold, sleeker styling execution to the hood. In addition to the scallops on the hood, we've also added scallops to the side doors as well. So as you can see, if you look at the side of the vehicle, We've added scallops, which gives it a more refined execution and sleeker execution than in our prior generations of Dodge Chargers. But we didn't stop there in terms of refinements to the vehicle. We also improved the exterior visibility on the vehicle so that the law, law enforcement officers can really, really see out of the cockpit when they're driving. And some of the things that we've done, we've moved the mirrors forward and we've lowered them. We've also lowered the belt line on the vehicle. We've also removed the black applique that we had in the prior generation of the vehicle so that the officer, when he looks rearward, has an improved visibility sight when he looks that way out of the vehicle. And keeping with the visibility angle, we've also changed the angle on the rear window as well to increase the visibility by an overall percentage of about 15% on the vehicle. But we didn't stop there. We also made some refinements on the tail lamp section of the vehicle. And this is where our most pronounced uh, improvement has been made. If you look at this generation of the Dodge Charger, the tail lamp now becomes an overall signature piece, giving you an improved lighting signature, which improves the safety of the officer when they make a stop. At nighttime, the signature on this vehicle is headlighted by the 150 LED lamps that we've installed in the vehicle. So that gives you an improved lighting signature. But the design of this tail lamp also does something else for the law enforcement market. It gives you the ability to put in various different combinations, lighting combinations, when you're looking at a lighting package for the rear of the vehicle. So law enforcement agencies can do a myriad of things from a lighting perspective that they couldn't do on the prior generation Dodge Chargers. So we didn't stand still. We've made improvements to the vehicle from an exterior standpoint as well as from an interior standpoint. And we've also made interior improvements to the vehicle. And these include, first of all, the seat. We realize that law enforcement officers, this is their office, and that they're in this seat for eight to 10 hours a day. So as such, we've designed a seat that's for the law enforcement officer specifically. This seat allows the law enforcement officer to move into and out of the vehicle while wearing all of their utility equipment and still being comfortable. It also gives the officer a Lexus level uh, uh, style of comfort that wasn't offered in our prior generation vehicle. But in addition to the seat, other interior appointments that we've made include steering wheel controls. The steering wheel controls are new for this generation Dodge Charger. And the steering wheel controls allow the officer the ability to control uh, the 
vehicles, internal control systems like the HVAC system, the um, radio and things like that, and allows the officer to keep his eyes on the road as opposed to looking down to change knobs and buttons and things of that. In, in addition to those interior appointments, we've also added an in integrated radio module, which allows the officer to control uh, all of the vehicle's internal features, allows the officer to control lights, as well as to stay communicated with its dispatch unit and to make certain that they can stay in control with their network. Now, in addition to the integrated radio control module, we still offer the mini console uh, on the vehicle. The mini console allows law enforcement agencies to modify the console area to whatever unique modification structure that they so choose. So we understand that each municipal agency has their unique standards that they must uh, adhere to and so we give you that flexibility by offering you the mini console. Now the last thing that I'd like to touch upon is the other interior refinements that we've made on the instrument panel and these include making certain that our instrument uh, bezel clusters are much easier to read and you can see that by the chrome that we've added on the outside of the bezels which gives you a contrasting feature to the dark palette where you read the numbers and the speed and all the other information on the instrument panel. In addition to that, we've also offered a very, very refined uh, skin on the interior, which gives you a nice feel, softer feel, allows some elegance to be added to the vehicle that wasn't there last year. In prior generations, this was much cruder, and we decided to make that more refined to give the officer a higher level of comfort while they're riding in the 2011 Dodge Charger. The 2011 Dodge Charger has come out of the chute and it's a very, very excellent uh, vehicle. It's a vehicle that will continue to be a world-class performing vehicle and it's a vehicle that we could not have developed without the assistance of our police advisory board. Our police advisory board consists of 18 law enforcement officials from different agencies around the country to include sheriff's departments, uh, state highway patrols, and local municipal uh, police departments. And we've used these individuals to give us a great perspective on what the law enforcement market needs so that we could provide a vehicle that meets the needs of what that segment of the market expects and what that segment of the market needs to do their job so that we give them not just a vehicle but a tool so that they can do their jobs a lot better.